And I'm back again, Magnus Sites. Okay, so I'm kind of in a good mood because I just did that last year, which was pretty funny. But uh, this one's more of a serious topic. It's something that's been irritating me for a long time. Like a fucking rock in my shoe, alright? Like a thorn in my side. Like a booger hanging on my nose hairs that keeps scratching me. I'm in a business meeting and I can't get to it. But, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So, this is what I'm saying. Thirsty ass fake book. Facebook friends, I should just say fake book. <laughs> Thirsty ass Facebook friends looking for attention. Now, I'm not talking about, now there's different types of thirsty Facebook friends. I'm specifically talking about the sad cases, the people about to hang themselves. Everything's, the world's about to come to an end. These people. Um, the people that post shit like this, you'll recognize this. Sigh, dot, dot, dot. What to do, dot, dot, dot. I'm so bored, dot, dot, dot. Uh, and there's always other shit like, um, you'll never hurt me again, dot, dot, dot. It's always dumb shit like that. And a lot of these friends are like, like what I don't get, it's like, why don't you just call one of us and discuss what your problem? Like, why is it that you feel a need to have us all post comments on your page? Hey, what's wrong? What's... And, and they don't never answer. Or they'll say something vague, like, ah, oh, just going through something. They just wanted to know that we all care about them. But we all do care about them because we're your fucking friends. So, if you don't want a fucking solution to your problem, don't post none of that shit. Like, because I got a few friends, only a few, like maybe two that post shit for no reason all the time about, you know, like just, this, this, oh man, it, and it's always a girl. It's always a girl, you know, posting something about how the man cheated or something and, and you know, but it's the same girls that keep running into the same fucking dudes and they never fucking listen, okay? So that's my whole thing. If you're one of those dumbass Facebook friends Change up what the fuck you're doing. Stop dating the some the same scumbags that you've been dating, cause you're a fucking idiot. It's not that they just somehow just find you. Trust me, you found them because you're always looking for the same attributes in a man, and you haven't figured it out yet that these same attributes keep bringing you the same kind of fucking dude. The same dude that beats you, that steals from you, that lies to you, that cheats on you. It's all the same shit all the time. Trust me, I dated two girls in a row, never forget this, that were the almost identical I mean, it said one looked a lot better than the other. That, like, that was about it. Like, they were the same fucking girl. Because I went out looking for the same thing again after the first relationship ended. You know what I'm saying? Not realizing that me looking for certain attributes and having that girl on my mind brought in a, a similar girl. It was the same shit. You got to look for some different shit or it's going to keep on happening. All right? So... Yeah, don't commit no suicide. Get some fucking help. Stop crying for us to help you. Help you if you ain't gonna listen to us, right? That's all I got to say. Thirsty ass Facebook friends. Thirsty ass sad Facebook friends. Stop that shit because it's irritating. And I get tired of seeing it every morning, every time I get on my fucking timeline. What I'm gonna tr start doing is just blocking your dumb asses so I can't see it. So you're gonna have to have somebody else answer your fucking call that you don't want to listen to, you know. Well, anyway, all right, I'm done rambling. Talk to y'all later.